Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today we're doing another episode of You Draw, I Build, or Why Dib. This is the series where I ask scrappers in the Discord to suggest things for me to attempt to build in Scrap Mechanic by hand drawing them on paper or with a painting app on their phone or their computer or whatever. And then based on that two-dimensional drawing, I try to make it a three-dimensional reality right here in Scrap Mechanic, and usually the results are absolutely amazing and there's never anything unexpected or wrong that happens. All right, so I've sifted through dozens and dozens of submissions and selected a handful of favorites. Let's see what we're going to be working with today. Okay, up first, it appears we have by Wooly Griffin here a tent house with wobbly legs. Now, I really appreciate the fact that you made it like a, a pyramid tent rather than just a box because, you know, a, a box just would have been too easy. So now instead, I gotta put a whole bunch of wedge pieces down to make this thing angular. All right, I got one wall here, I hope. So I hope I should be able to just duplicate this and weld it to itself to create four sides of the pyramid. Hey, would you look at this? This doesn't look too bad, does it? All right, we managed to build our pyramid. I mean, we got these little gaps here, but you know, I'm not worried about them. All right, so now we need to create our little doorway. We should probably fill in the floor. There we go. All right, and then we need just a little window on the side like that. All right, this is looking pretty good so far. And now we got to put the floppy legs on it with wheels. So I think I should be able to create some flop by just putting a whole bunch of suspension pieces stacked on top of each other. And this is why I made the whole base out of metal because I think more weight is going to make the wheels even floppier. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Here we are. Um, I, I got to admit, I think I was wrong about <laughs> the floppiness, at least, <laughs> of the legs themselves. But <laughs> it's not without its interesting effects. <laughs> Oh, I can hardly go forward. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, nice and gentle. Nice and... Okay, and we're done. Oh, no, we're not done. Okay, and now I think we're done. So it appears that I've accidentally made stretchy legs instead of floppy legs. But I guess this is sometimes the unexpected uh, side effect when you start converting things from paper to... Uh, get uh, I was gonna say real world, but this this is not real world. There's nothing real world about this at all Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing at all real world about this. All right, so I'm just gonna call this a, uh, a half success I, I got the overall shape right, but the legs just I couldn't give the legs the flop that they needed Okay, up next we're gonna be looking at this piece of art by Shadow. Uh, he even gave me a hint, uh, if I couldn't tell. It's a hot dog with rocket propellers. So we're gonna be building ourselves a nice blocky hot dog here, and then we gotta strap some rocket propellers to this thing and watch it fly. All right, so I've got about half my hot dog built here, so I'm gonna paint this half, then I'm just gonna duplicate it onto the back of itself. It's a it's a fake hot dog. It's not. It doesn't actually have anything on the inside, but that's because I want it to be kind of lightweight since we're going to be attaching some helicopter propeller rocket propeller copter blade things to it all right there we go i think it's looking pretty good from this side so now we go instantly from two halves of a hot dog to a full hot dog this is actually a little bit excessive that's fine though we just gotta find the center oh oh of course i made the center even width so i can't even put it okay you know what we gotta delete some blocks out of this thing i'm gonna delete five blocks one two three four five so we're just gonna carve our hot dog not in half but just in two parts right here and then weld it back together and then this should give us an even or an odd width hot dog that is a little bit more proportional. There we go. Okay, so now our center point is right. All right, now for the fun part, the rocket propellers. All right, here it is. I dub the heli hot dog. So let's hop in the seat, push some buttons and see what happens in three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Okay, there's a little bit of gyroscopic effect here, which is to be expected, but it is totally working. Is it working as intended? Uh, y y you'd have to ask Shadow if this is working as intended. I, I feel like it's working as intended. It is, however, 
It is taking me... Oh, oh, I can go back and forth with the motor, but not the thrusters. And it affects the way that I get tilted. All right, um, I'm going into the middle of nowhere now. This is fantastic. You know what? I'd say that this is such a wild success that I'm just gonna... I'm gonna send this thing off on its own. We're just gonna hook up that to that. We're gonna hook up this to all of these. And we're gonna set her free. Be free, Heli Hot Dog. You're free now. All right, let's get on to the next drawing. Okay, up next here by James the Not So Gamer. We have a really cool looking like dragster car, like funny car type thing. Oh, oh, there goes the hot dog. Okay. But a really cool looking rocket car. We get a spoiler, a spud gun on the front. I thought that was an engine at first. Apparently you have small wheel in the front, big wheel in the back. He decided not to draw them small and big. He just decided to name them small and big. But you know what? I'm going to do my best to make a car look kind of like this. All right, so I'm just going to start with the front here. It looks like it has a pretty sharp edge in the front. It goes up a little bit, and then we have a nice rounded kind of edge here. All right, now the hard part. I always have trouble making wheel wells for cars, but I'm going to try to put some wheels in here. All right, here we go. I did my best with the wheel well. I hope this is going to work because there's not a lot of room for steering, but I tried to put the steering rotation right above the wheel instead of like next to the wheel like I normally do. All right, so I think this is good length for the front of the car. Now we got to get to like the windshield area. All right, so now we have some side windows. Oh, th did the hot dog just fly by? I thought there was like a fly in my room, but it was the hot dog. All right, so we, as I was saying, we get some side windows. I'm not going to be able to do the nice smooth curve like he has here because of, you know, scrap mechanic limitations, but I'm doing my best, okay? All right, I got the back wheels on, and now we need to put the spoiler and the, uh, the rocket boosters and the spud gun next. All right, so let's go with the rocket boosters. It looks pretty big in the picture, so I'm just going to use four to kind of get the scale of it. All right, and then he appears to have a little bit of a lip down on the back end here. Yeah, there we go. All right, and now time for the spoiler on the top. It looks like it's a pretty short spoiler. All right, I think the spoiler is looking pretty good, and now we just need the spud gun in the front. Let's paint it up, add a seat in it, hook up all the controls, and see how this thing drives. All right, and here it is in all of its glory, and I gotta say that the drawing looks a lot cooler than than this thing does, that, that's for sure. It's just, just the completely flat hood of the car. It just, it just doesn't look right. It, ha it needs like a nice subtle curve. We, we work with what we work with. So check out the steering. The steering works great, even though it's completely like wall to wall in the uh, in the hub there. All right, so uh, we have number one for our rocket and then number two for our spud gun. So let's go ahead and just drive it around normally, see how it drives without the super rocket boost because we have four max thrusters on there. I have no suspension on this thing, by the way, so it's handling is probably gonna be terrible. Literally had no room for suspension in there. All right, we're gonna get to a nice open area over here and then we're gonna trigger the thrusters. So let's see what happens in three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. All right, I'm spinning out already. No, this is fine. I just wanted to do a little bit of drifting. A little bit of drifting. And now we're going. I, I left the other the, the pyramid car over here. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, this thing's pretty good at recovering. Uh-oh. Uh oh Yeah, see, look at... We're just doing... We're just doing barrel rolls all over the place. All right. Uh, so now let's test out the spud guns. I wish I had something that would actually respond to the spud guns. I don't think this thing's going to, but I might as well try. Hey, look at that. Spy guns have a pretty nice trajectory here. This is probably going to be laggy. No, no, it's not too bad. All right, so before we get on to the next one, I just, I have to, we have a jump right here. I got to try to take this thing off the jump. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we're doing some wheelies and... <laughs> it's so hard to control stuff with the bounciness of the terrain if you don't have suspension on it. But then again, if you have too much suspension, then, uh, then you get this thing which isn't much easier to control. All right, so up next by Evo1800 here, he is introducing the SM Mug Transporter 5001, 
with mug suspension wheels. So we got suspension mugs all in the back of it. And what I thought was really clever was the mug suspension wheels. I don't think I've ever done suspension mug wheels. This is gonna be another blocky truck build, but uh, I'm gonna be focusing more on the suspension mug aspects than the actual vehicle aspect. All right, there we go. The front is on with the suspension mug wheels. Now it's time to get to the rest of it. All right, here we go. We got the whole back built now. Now it's time to fill it with some uh, unnecessarily large amounts of suspension mugs. I'm just going to randomly put some of the suspension on minimum and some of them are not going to be on minimum. So we'll actually have like varying heights of suspension mugs. All right, I think we are ready for its maiden voyage. Let's hop in the seat here and uh, we'll see how it the suspension. Oh, no. Um. Um. Oh no, <laughs> this isn't quite working as intended it appears. Wait, I, I think, let's slow down the engine just a bit. I think some of these might be going in the wrong direction. Oh, what? Look, I have the engine on so slow, it can hardly even like turn itself. You know what, I think we need, uh, we need electric engines on this. This is not a gas engine concept. Here we go, electric engines, this should be better. Look at how much better this is. Yeah, the gas engines were just impossible. All right, all right, we can definitely start bumping it up now. All right, wow, huge difference. Oh, my steering's all messed up, hold on. There we go, check this out. It's actually a pretty smooth ride. Considering these are pretty much giant plus signs for wheels, the suspension mug aspect actually makes it a pretty smooth ride. And we got our suspension mugs in the back there as well. All right, well, I guess apparently suspension mugs are uh, the way of the future because they are completely reliant on electrical power and not gas power. So Elon Musk, eat your heart out. All right, we got to max this out though, just to see what happens. What? Look at the suspension. It's like the suspension's gone. Do you see that? The wheels just like completely compress. And then like the suspension comes back as soon as I stop. It like, it literally looks like the suspension isn't even there. And then as soon as I stop, it reappears. Okay. All right. Oh, look at the mugs in the back too. <laughs> That's cool. That's actually kind of like satisfying to look at. Okay, let's do strict follow cam so we can follow them better. Oh, apparently strict follow cam isn't that good at following. All right, by the way, if you want your own Scrapman mug that looks exactly like this, uh, suspension not included, however, you can get one on the merch shop down below. And there's a 25% discount on the whole store until New Year's, so now's your chance. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this thing here. Well, maybe not glitched into the ground just because of lag purposes. And I have one more drawing to get to. Okay, up next, my base decks here. This is actually an amazing work of art. Like, the, the, the colors are awesome, the detail is awesome, uh, and the concept is kind of insanity. <laughs> so it looks like we have a flying pizza rocket powered explosive pizza toilet explosion attached to a toilet, attached to a thruster, attached to a, an explosive, and in front of the pizza is a finger hanging down the point in which direction you're supposed to be going. So I don't know how this thing is supposed to be controlled at all. And perhaps it's just not supposed to be controlled, but I'm gonna do my best to build the shape of this thing and see what happens. All right, so let's start from the bottom up here. The first issue is uh, the thrusters, you can only attach on this part of the thrusters. You can see I can't put any pieces anywhere else on these thrusters, so we can't really uh, we can't really do it the way that he exactly did it. We're gonna have to add some extra attachment points. This explosive is odd width and the thrusters are even width. So you know what I'm gonna have to do? I am going to have to double up the thrusters, which is fine. This is gonna give us some more power. I'm just adding my own artistic interpretation on the original design here, just like this. And from the side, I think it still looks okay. All right, now we got to put the toilet seat on top. And here's the other issue is I can't put the toilet seat directly on the thrusters. So I'm going to have to attach it right here. 
This is actually looking pretty good. Look at this. This is looking pretty good. All right, so the other issue now is we cannot attach directly to the top of the toilet seat like he has in this picture. So we're gonna have to do another little workaround by using pipe pieces here. I really hope I don't accidentally explode this before I'm done. All right, now I actually installed the wings mod just for this drawing. And I'm hoping with the wings mod, I'll actually be able to shape the pizza better too. So you know what, let's build the pizza separate though. And then we'll just weld it on if we can. You can't attach to the side of the wings. <sighs> That's gonna make things very difficult. Right, you know what, don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is the pizza. Um, I couldn't do any like complete pepperoni pieces because then there would be no attachment points in the pizza, but uh, I can attach to the sides of these. So I'm thinking I'm going to attach my, uh, my pipes to like right here and right here, even though it's not gonna be technically like exactly center because the pizza happens to be even width rather than odd width. So it, things just aren't working out for this particular build as far as measurements go. All right, so let's see if I can get this thing welded on here. All right, this looks like it's working okay. There's no way this is gonna fly though. It's everything's just completely off balance. And you know what? We're gonna have to put these all the way up. And you know what? We're just gonna do backflips. Like it, it, the thrust is way below the center of mass. Oh, and I forgot about the finger. I forgot about the finger. How could I forget? Oh, <gasps> no, I, I, can, I think I can attach right to the end of this. This could work. This could actually work. Of course, it's going to be off center up here, too. Look at that. Look at this is terrible. <laughs> All right, just ignore that. All right, here it is. The uh, the finished product. Oh, perfect. This is great for flying. We're, we're already in our upwards trajectory. Um. Oh, I forgot. I got to hook up. Oh, can I? Oh, no, I can't. I got to hook up a button. All right, here we go. Now it is ready for takeoff. How long until we blow up, do you think? In three, two, one, go! Training pizza. All right, well, let's try it again. See if we get any different results. <laughs> you, you know, the, the finger doesn't, it doesn't really help. <laughs> I mean, it's, it says forward, but it's not really... It, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work as intended. It doesn't really say how it's intended to work. It says it's a, a flying pizza rocket powered explosive pizza toilet explosion. And I think all of those things are happening here. So I think this is a wild success. So of all the things you've seen us create out of drawings in this episode, uh, which one was your favorite? The hot dog is probably still flying around there somewhere uh, in case you forgot about that one. But we got the pizza flying explosion toilet thing. We got the pyramid floppy wheels thing that turned it into stretchy wheels. We got the rocket powered spud gun car and we got the suspension stabilizer mug wheel truck. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you, if you enjoyed this episode and you wanna see more Why Did episodes, then you're gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here on the end screen. And don't forget to check out the links in the description if you wanna take advantage of the end of the year merch sale, which there's only a few days left. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.